Come on, read man. You got it. You got it. Go, 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 run. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Good job. Good job, buddy. What are you doing? You squishing the Skittles? Yes. We got a purple one. There's a purple one? Don't knock your drink over. Get your drink. Right there, that's Sprite. Is that right? No, it's not right. Is that good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then we're going to go watch Rhett play soccer after this. This is the nicest park. Nicest park. We've actually got some shade. We're not going to have this at the soccer field. Wait a hit. Somebody spilt Skittles and this boy is squishing them. Wait to watch, Reed. Come on. Go, Reed, go. Go, Reed. Way to go, Reed, man. Way to go. Rigsy. What you do? Are you getting that leaf? No. I'm going to get the oil. I see you getting it. Oh, that breeze feels so wonderful. <laughs> I almost feel a touch of fall in this 90 degree weather. I got it. You got it? Are you a cookie monster? Let me see you eat. Are you a cookie monster? Are you a cookie monster? <laughs> Eat that cookie, cookie monster. <laughs> Eat that cookie, cookie monster. <laughs> cookie monster. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Get it, rat. Way to go. Good stop. Way to go. Come get it right, get it right. Get it right, get it, get it. Woo! Way to go, Rat! Way to go, buddy! Come on, get it right. Good job. Get it right, get it. Good job. That was a good kick. I missed that one. Come on, Ethan, come on, Ethan! Woo! He got, he's gotten two or three good kicks. Hey, guys. We've been to a soccer game, a baseball game, and now we're at, at home. So I thought, let me get out of that one. I thought I would just bring you along and show you some of the stuff that at home's got because they've got their Christmas fully stocked and it's always quite amazing. So let me turn you around and show you. If you need any kind of decorative Christmas tree, this is the place. Look how adorable. Oh yeah, I like these. Let's see what the big ones are. $19.99. I'm not going to do overkill with that, though, because I do decorate with that some. Really, at home has any theme that you can imagine decorating with. It's probably one of the best places that I've seen for Christmas decorations. crown him king. It'd be pretty if you did a Jesus is the reason. I guess that is what that is. Because it's got the angels, the white Santas, like a white Christmas. Ooh, 
I love that. $39.99. I'll have to have John come look at that. Oh, that's cute. I like that because it's different. I don't know what it is about the Christmas tree things, the themes, but I like it. Oh, wow. He's pretty. $149. I think I saw him last year, and I think I loved him last year and didn't get him. Would he not be so cute laying up one of your under one of your trees? Let's see how much he is. $39.99. I just love the way he lays. And then we're coming into the reds and greens. Wow, so pretty. And then over here is totally silvers. Walking in a winter wonderland. That is really good. Look at look at the polar bear. That is so cute. I've just never seen the little igloo thing. Oh. <laughs> I just don't have much of the white to use anywhere. Oh my goodness. You know, we ought to put one of these owls out on our back porch because we have that big owl. I wonder if he would come and try to attack it or do anything. Wonder what the owl would do if we put him out on the uh, porch rails. Oh, you think out, you think he would try to attack him? Yeah. Show John the um, frosty kisses and snowflake wishes. This little white set with the penguins it is really cute. I just don't have anywhere. Oh, and he's pretty. So guys, if y'all like that white, little Arctic, Alaskan look, man, beautiful. I do like him. He's different. I do like him. Red and green is just your traditional. But see, I love any kind of beads. These are actually fabric. How cute are those? Anything with campers. Let's see what this is. Really cute in the window. How much? $5.99. That's a yes. Now that's got to light up. Surely. Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Can you see the light? Very cute. How much? $17.99. Not a bad price. This one's singing Jingle Bells down here. Well, and there's that. I took it off the top shelf. Oh, the little berry trees are really cute. I do like this style a lot. That's really cute. I think they've got those at Walmart. Y'all are like, Suzanne, seriously, do you need more Christmas? No, I don't need it. I love campers. So cute. Do I need it? No. <laughs> I love him. $14.99. I like the Noel a lot. There's just 
certain ornaments that stick out to me. I love that. See, when you buy something this big, you can just buy one if you do an eclectic tree like I do with everything on it, but I love that. Of course, they always have a big variety of trees. I think this one is really cute. It's got eucalyptus, and I'm using eucalyptus on my Christmas tree this year, and I'm using some of this. I'm completely changing the top of my tree this year. Cute. I still like my trucks. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. They still have shelves that are not filled. Now this is really interesting and cute. What do you call this style? Hobo? Boho. <laughs> what did I just say? Hobo? <laughs> Festive folk really really cute <laughs> i said hobo <laughs> i meant boho <laughs> y'all this and, and it's festive folk is what it's called and it is like folk um like toll painting what they call but y'all that's really cute really cute if you could use those colors yeah it's festive folk <laughs> y'all get a kick out of that hobo cute and there's more of it now y'all this is some cute stuff really cute if I would think a young person or like a young adult would really like some of this like these colors really cute okay all you dog lovers they have not forgotten you it looks like it's just all dogs oh there's a cat but mostly dogs. <laughs> How cute. Oh my gosh. Jody Saladino, isn't this your doggies? Santa's little helper. Yeah, think about these. They're cute. I guess they're little unicorns. But look at the plaids. How pretty, too. And blues. Arlene is using blue a lot in her house. And Arlene, I don't know if, you, if you're gonna watch this or not, but look at the beautiful blue. And I was gonna tell you that um, Big Lots has a whole section of blue ornaments too. I've been meaning to write you and tell you that. Oh, look at the beautiful sweaters. Oh, I like that. $25. I don't like it that much. It's pretty, but I don't like it $25 worth. The sleighs. You can put all different kind of ornaments or candy in these. Yeah, they've still got Christmas to put out, guys. Here's all the colors you could imagine. Look at this. And they've still, ooh, is that a dark blue? Mmm. This looks like what our lens using. Wow. More trees. Free wild skin is pretty. And then we get into all the ribbon. I've got this ribbon from last year, and I don't know if I need ribbon. Okay, I like these too, just to like put around stuff. I'm gonna get a strand of these. <laughs> Somebody just rubbed me on the butt and I didn't know whether to holler or not. <laughs> what is that? Look at there. 
What is that? A beaded table runner. Well, that's kind of cute. You have to have a pretty neat place to put that though. And then we got more fall stuff. Let's just look at it while we're here too. Yeah, they're still putting Christmas stuff out. Uh, that's cute. I don't have that one. Very cute for fall. $25. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Fall is almost over. But isn't it cute? I think I'll pass. That's pretty. Let's go look at Halloween. I know some of you love Halloween decorations. Oh, now that's adorable. That is adorable. I have these and I love them. I ought to get me another one because I only got one last year. But I love this, $17.99. Adorable. I love fall decorations. That's really pretty. Wow. That's pretty. Really pretty. Gosh, that's pretty. $59.99. And more Halloween. This is adorable. Oh, that's cute. I just don't need to be buying fall stuff, I don't think. But now that's really cute. Going home with us. I really like it. Very, very pretty. <laughs> yes, you're going home with me and you're very, very pretty. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some Christmas. <laughs> it's 98 degrees. Is it not? Hey, you. Yeah. I walked out, we walked out, and the heat came up from this concrete, and I was like, happy fall, honey. Sitting out in that heat. Heat is not good for me, and it has zapped everything in me, so... Quick complaining, Suzanne. Be thankful that you're upright today. Uh, don't, we're going to stop. He's going to run into Marshalls. We're trying to get our plates collected, uh, our Ray Dunn plates that we're going to start using. But y'all, it is so hot. Now, you told me that the temperature is supposed to start changing tomorrow. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. What? We're going to go? I think tomorrow is going to be like in the low 80s but then um i think the high friday may be like 75. oh my I mean, god uh, monday monday 75. do you know how wonderful that seems and we've not had any rain i was telling them in over eight weeks i don't know if it's been eight but yes it has been. Yes, because well, I guess it has. <laughs> that's what you said. Well, you said last week seven weeks. I know. Well, we're fixing to break a record. If by chance we go into the 90s tomorrow, it will be the longest streak. Is it in Alabama or well, Birmingham? I think today Tied made a second in history for the number of days in the year that was over 90 degrees. Is that for Alabama? Yes. So, it, yeah, it is, stuff is just dying around us. I'm gonna sit right here, babe. Okay, you just sit right Space here. FaceTime me or yeah, send me a yeah, picture yeah, or yeah, something. <laughs> I'm not getting back out. He said, you want me to run into Marshall's and see if there's any Ray Dunn there? And I said, you can if you want to, but Sister Tucker is tuckered out. <sighs> Being out in the really hot heat, y'all, it zaps me. 
and I've got a good bit of homework to finish for mentoring for tomorrow. So tomorrow I have church. We don't get out till 12 or 12.30. I have a bridal tea at two, 15, 17, 18 miles away. I meet my mentoring accountability partner at three. We're supposed to have a face-to-face -face meeting. And then I have mentoring starting at four and it's been last, it's supposed to last two hours. Last time it lasted three hours and 35 minutes. <laughs> and then if my brother is not available, I've got to have mother in Birmingham Monday morning at 10 o'clock for doctors for her eye to get her shot in her eye. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Or as Pastor Jamie told us in mentoring, Inhale, Jesus, and exhale, Suzanne. Inhale, Jesus, and exhale, Suzanne. So that's what I am focusing on when I feel overwhelmed. John called and I had to go into Marshalls. But I was saying, there are days that we wake up and the enemy's just all over us or we just feel blue or we just feel glum. I have those days too, but I'm just not going to stay there. If it's something that I can't prevent, it's different. But, I mean, if it's just a feeling, I just don't, I just don't want to stay there. I'm just not going to let myself stay there. Uh, he called me and he said, there's a lot of Ray Dunn in here. And uh, so, I mean, that's so unusual here. People are getting tired of it. It's what it is. But I have a bridal shower tomorrow. And I had a chance to go in her little rental house several weeks ago and she's doing it in farmhouse she had some cow pictures up and so i was able to get her a whole set of the ray dunn mixing bowls which you know i bought mine on macari because they were impossible to get and i got her the little hanging thing that says uh love grows in this home or something like that so i got her two really i mean the three mixing bowls is a set and then i got her a little hanging thing um for her farmhouse, so I'm really tickled about that. And then they had some eggnog cups. So I didn't have any eggnog cups, so I got me an Ashley one. And then Ashley had told me to get a piece for somebody else that she'll pay me back. So it's the most Ray Dunn I've ever seen in Birmingham. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, it's already been picked over. People are, I'm sure they're slowing down on it. I love mine right now and I'll keep it till I get tired of it, so. But it is sitting right here in this parking lot at 10 minutes till 2. It's 97 degrees. Gee whiz. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Just wanted to touch base with y'all. Last night, the whole live stream was so crazy. I think my phone was locked. I unlocked my phone. I think it was my fault that I couldn't do the live stream and landscape. Um, still haven't learned everything about this iPhone X. And now they're already coming out with 11. So. Um, but I think it was my fault. And then it didn't save. I thought I told it to end it and to save it and it didn't. But anyway, we had fun with the, those of us that were on it. So hopefully I'm going to get a teaching lesson up this week. I'm working on some material right now. And so I'm really going to try to schedule at least one a week. And I'm really going to work hard on that. So anyway, I hope y'all were having a good weekend. It's been nice just to get out. I am ready to go home. It's 2 o'clock. I'm ready to go home and finish doing my homework and start preparing for worship tomorrow. I'm telling you, if you can find you a church where you can go in and the worship is just beautiful. The music, the preaching, and oh my gosh, I'm so blessed. And I know a lot of y'all watch our services now on YouTube. Some of you watch it live. It's always been Facebook live, but it's also YouTube live now. Summerton Church of God, Summerton, Alabama. And I know, I know Jody watch, she watches it every service. And Irene down in uh, Louisiana, she watches every service after the service. So I know some of y'all are just so blessed by it. And that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to pastor when I tell him about things that y'all say. So, but I hope that you can get up and go into the house of the Lord. There's nothing like being there. Just nothing like it. So, but sometimes that's not always possible. But anyway, uh, I'm ready to go and get refueled tomorrow for the rest of the week. I love you guys. 
I hope you're having a great Saturday. And remember, John 10.10 10 says that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God says, I come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. And I pray abundant life over all of you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bye.